Illinois and 16 other states have made this day a holiday. And to the end that it should embrace the 50 states was the purpose of the program this morning at Kennedy King Junior College. School officials say 1,500 men, women, and children were present in support of the campaign to make January 15th a national holiday. Among the speakers, Congressman Harold Washington. As a state senator, he sponsored the bill that made Illinois the first state to declare this date a holiday. In recognizing Dr. King, this country would do itself honor, both here at home and abroad, by telling everyone that black people have been an integral part of this country and world. We've made our contribution, notwithstanding adverse circumstances, and symbolic of that great people we want to recognize in a national holiday, the one and only, the late Dr. Martin Luther King, Jr. Nothing short of that <laughs> will do. There were other commemorative programs held throughout the city in observance of Dr. King's birthday. Here at the Bailey Plaza at noontime, scores endured the frigid temperatures to attend a rally sponsored by the Social Action Churches of the West Side of Chicago. Here too, the goal of nationalizing this day was the theme of the occasion. Dr. Martin Luther King, Jr. was born in 1929. He would have been 53 today. An emotional moment came when solo saxophonist Arthur Scales played King's favorite song, Precious Lord, Take My Hand. 